This conference will now be recorded. Hi guys, good morning. Sorry, I'm a bit late. I just drove kilometers. Unfortunately, I'm a bit late. Uh, nonetheless, uh, let's discuss where we are and uh, what we want to discuss today. Just give me a second. Okay, so if you can view my screen now, signing up now. So if we check, the resource groups are done. So the only one thing that was left is about cost and billing management. Coming to the billing management dashboard, this is how the billing looks like. Currently, my billing account, okay, is SK Abdul Adric Lagda. And the type of account I'm actually using, you can see this. This is online service, and of course, Miro. So, if you go to the scope, scope is something, okay, uh, which identifies your access. So, uh, at single point of time, this IP address, uh, uh, this particular account name, skabdilardreadline.com, or your account, you have multiple billing scopes. Example. Um, account and you can it for your personal project and have your organizational building account as well so it acts so the scopes varies so we have here two different scopes one for your personal projects and one for your organizational or your company project okay so let's see um so if you have another scope you will be finding the second row here. So currently we have only one billing account. Okay, this is the current scope. If you click on the current scope link, then it will take you to the scope. So you can see this, how much bill has been generated so far. So currently I have to pay around 23 INR for my usage. And here you can see your services per cost. Okay, so if you want to go in detail, Then you can check out the whole uh, cost analysis. It will show you uh, what kind of services we have, have used. So currently I have used around uh, four different types of services, namely virtual machine, storage, virtual network, and monitor so if you just see the virtual network cost me around 84 INR. so what are the network i have created it's also it's also billable and what are the monitoring services i have used that is also billable. 
So you need to show that what are the component uh, you require. So you can show that your particular services are or if you are charged for any extra. Normally, they won't charge extra, unless otherwise, maybe some kind of uh, usage misunderstanding. So you want to go to invoice details. You can see cost by resource. Look, how many VMs have you used? Other than this can have used, how much it has cost you? And the highest amount of Usage is on this resource group. Resource group is VM demo, on which the virtual machine cost me even or it'll do 35 rupees. Now, the same you go, uh, how much the public IP cost me? So, it's a public IP, it cost me around uh, 71 rupees. In a public seventy-one, which is most equal in the VM, the storage cost me around fifty-six dollars. Sorry, fifty-six Hana. So this would be relative in the in dollars. You you might be getting like zero point one dollar or one dollar or one point one dollar, but relatively, it's cost me around eight to nine dollars. So this is basically cost by resource and if you see what is my estimated daily cost okay then you can find how much how much it costs me per day okay so the forecast would be daily it costs me around 34 rupees i okay so this is something called, if you see, you have cost by link, cost by service, and cost by invoice. I hope you, uh, it is uh, direct, it's uh, pretty clear to see uh, how much it costs me service. I think we already checked it out. We have basically four different services. And let me check. So in whole Azure, we have one in, uh, in 391, 397 for US East and US East 2, 0 0.28. So these are all. So basically three. This was around 396. It's all good. Now I want to export. I want to say how do you do that? Of course, you just need to save as and then or you can just put any name of it be there. your particular storage container. I don't know. Storage container now. It picks up automatically. So simple download. You want an Excel? Excel will be available. Arrange your page. Download the charts. I don't know, some kind of error. Let me go to CSV. That's easy. I think the download here did to start. Let me check. No, that has some issue. No. Where is the download? You can find the invoice as an invoice option. Let's go here. Thank you. 
So this, uh, yeah, I do want to discuss this, but I just wanted to check. What is my... I just wanted to see, ah, yeah, here it is. It has, this is it, the CSV, how it wanna look like. Okay. So I think we did the basic activities Why, uh, with respect to cash billing, that is to uh, check your score and uh, check the actual cost and check the forecasted cash, check different types of invoicing details. And uh, yes, uh, now this is all good. Now let's go and actually find the most uh, usable information, which is budgeting. So, budgeting, what is budget? Now, tell me if you are actually going to anywhere. Uh, so, you have you are actually running a billing. Uh, sorry, you are actually running a gaming software, but uh, you have uh, uh, you have a fixed budget on your game software version. So you actually uh, applied for uh, uh, you know to uh, you uh, your setup is actually again auto scalable, okay. And now you have a fixed budget. Even if it is becoming popular, uh, the amount of revenue is not directly proportional to the usage of the application. In such uh, occasions where you have a where you have the you know bandwidth to terminate or you know slow down the user access uh, to make sure that you use the IT resources efficiently, then you can actually use your you know uh, budgets. What basically budgets does is that budgets basically gonna limit your access with an amount of budget or uh, expected. Amount so uh, I think uh, I believe it's clear why budget is uh, similar to how in a few terms how we try to make a budget and you know make sure that we stick to it so that we can save some money. Similar wise, uh, the IT budget is a term which is used by any kind of organization to make sure that the amount of expenses is on IT is not crossing that budget. So currently, uh, your IT operations uh, and uh, your infrastructure, everything is service free. So you, you, you we, we can actually make the uh, usage of the budgets so that you know uh, whenever somebody wants to create extra information for their personal or maybe for company testing purposes, uh, you limit their usage. But, but so let's okay. I think we already done with our client, our client, uh, cloud cost. Okay, now we are going with the budget. So let's create a budget. So the first and foremost you need to do for budget is to click on add. Good. Now, staying name, just uh, hold on a minute. So, anyway, um, let me just uh, write the budget name. Uh, this would be uh, region budget. And the creation date is today. That is maybe three months. Okay. Now, what is the amount of budget I can actually allow? So if you see, uh, root data actually suggests me that, hey, your actual usage is around 433, but it can increase up to 6 
39. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure I stick to the lowest budget that is 450. Okay, next. Now tell me what should I do when this particular amount has 50? The first time the alert so obviously the alert condition will be the percent of the budget which is 80 percent then the, the monitoring support you have to send data sets when the percent is 90 percent again you have to send data when it is crossing 99 you have to send a you can also add emails. Uh, so it's mandatory to actually put at least one email. So let me put my I'm creating an alert. Now we see we get an alert saying that this part of budget is right. So this is simplest alert. And if you want to, if you want to uh, having the smart alert, which actually does some work for you to terminate, then you have to go with the architecture of your application and you have to try to actually terminate the unused or vacant processes. Okay, so this is a budget. So we just created cost alerts. There should be one. I just created a budget. Okay, cost alerts. I think we do create it now. Okay, this is associated with only budgets. Just a second. Maybe taking time to get short, short guest. Okay, that is good. Okay. So now we have something called fast alerts. It's almost similar to budget. I think why when I say creating a budget, budget. Okay, this is obviously the same. But I don't know why this is actually showing in two different options. But normally, yeah, that's fine. Now let's go to uh, advisory recommendations. So there is one high recommendation which you definitely need to look. By a virtual machine resolved instance to save money as we go. When you say resolved, so we already discussed there are three different modes. One is reserved, one is on demand, and one is spot. But reserve instance is for a longer period and you have to give a contract. But I don't want to do that. So this is a third party integration for Cloud E9. So Cloud E9 is basically is actually uh, basically used by Azure Cache Management. So uh, this is a different. Uh, we can just go to yeah. And now for reselling business people can actually interact with Cloud E9 to provide their services. Okay, so, yep, so pretty much we discussed. And, uh,
So we basically have no essential of Romancia. Subscriptions at the valve on one, which is custom. So this is for when you buy reserve instance. This is how this is the place where you can see those reserve instance details of your you know whatever you bought. So please do remember this is Azure reservations. If you want to add something to it, you can add, but you see now you have to enter it here, contract her one. Then you get a very cheap instance. Now coming to the uh, uh, settings of this uh, billing management, you can see this. We already discussed about budgets. We exported one. Uh, we can also see the third party other services. Now we have something called properties of the budget. If you go to the properties, you will see the page status sign Okay, and characters for Azure. Uh, this is, uh, like I said, uh, where you have the integration uh, to your AWS account. Okay, but uh, I think this is not less not for now. Of course, export is something that you want to schedule export. You can do that every month. That yet day, I want to export my billing to these email addresses. You can do that here. Simple name. I want custom. Okay. I want absolute. I want monthly. Now I say, where do you want to store this? I have to choose. So I'm using this storage account. Uh, is there a Kano container there? No. I think I have to create a container and only then I can use it. Let me write down our container. Let's see. Uh, container. Uh, back to back. I think this, this will fail. But let me just say. there is no okay plus I don't want any schedule to report for the bar and then fast management. So now let's move to scope of the business test. Okay, for you, let's do the business test management. Coming to the access control, I believe this is already discussed in the past previous identity access manager. Yeah, that's all about building and building, task building and management. So let me know if you have any questions on the same. And also if you have any questions on the, uh, you know. Okay, so let's move then. Okay, no don't see now. See, uh, this is something that I don't really teach because there is nothing to teach much. Uh, this is completely a service that you have to buy to use. 
values. This is provided by Azure, maintained by Azure. We just need to pass here. So you can see that in short, we have two VMs. We have two storage accounts. Now we want to provide security of all your full account. You can see from Azure Security Center. So it provides security at the level of all the VMs, and that is computer, supporting IoT and resources, storage and utility, identity and the access management as well, including the security center of Azure. Okay, the service inside the security center is again uh, how to be bought by you to be make sure that. Uh, yeah. Now let's go to the arm resources. Okay. Let's go to the advisor. It is telling you how to lower your IT cost, and this is basically a free. You don't really need to buy. See what I just passed security your infrastructure. This is one thing I really like in Azure because it gives you very simple synopsis of the overall infrastructure. But this is not the same with uh, AWS, which actually are nice in Azure. But nonetheless, uh, you can see that how much cost, how much security, and how much the uh, reliability is in the current mode. And if you want operational excellence, that means you want to go with the industry best practices, then just you know, check, uh, download as a CSV and see how it is actually working with your phone. So currently it says we don't have anything to you. I'm sorry. There's nothing actually. No. What else we have left? Uh, Fast mostly is out of the stock. I think SQL database is obviously you know, create. So create SQL database. Yeah. What are the but this is very expensive to remember this. And the service is really expensive. But nonetheless, it's comparatively cheaper with the database. Example DB. So you see, this is the server name dot database dot windows dot. If you want, this has to be a slack of the other. Uh, it's gonna be a nine a lot. The server is actually there now, and the networking we can put a public access point or private access point. We can public. So this is about uh, adding the IP address to your DB. 
but this is very public and you're not going to do the same method but i just wanted to show it smart demo of creation of edit now here this is something that so this is not postgres this is ms sql database okay so you have to start a trial and this is gonna cost me about i don't know this is for a security ability Next tabs. Review. Now, if you want to use it in an automated manner, I can just make a template. This is the template. Okay. This is written in JSON. Well, this is good enough for you to run the same setting every time with your automation. Great. Now the deployment is initialized. I don't know what is I doing now. It's giving back time than expected. Let me do it. Okay, still have another bit. Let me see if I have a different else. Yeah, that's all from your side. I believe uh, it's time for you to ask me doubts if you have any. Otherwise, uh, we can <clears throat> we can proceed with uh, a small project. Uh, so I will be giving you details of this project uh, in our WhatsApp group. So you can actually make sure that the whole infrastructure is built on HO and it should actually have all the access control list and as for the requirement that I set. I hope this is the only thing that is left over. I think uh, pretty much we are set. Uh, let me see if you have any doubts on the previous class or maybe on the in task. Any doubts, Richa, Raghu, go ahead. Hello? Okay. Yeah, Richa. Yeah. This is the now. Uh, yeah. yeah, so regarding yesterday's task, so I tried to create tenant, but uh -huh. uh, it was not working. Uh, there was some error, means that uh, initial domain name was, it was already taken by some another directory. Yes. Uh -huh. So this domain name has to be unique. Okay. If you're working. So, so is there any the list that... of directories? Uh, no, no, everything is like when you are creating a particular S3 account, right? You uh -huh. would be you you can't um, you, you can't use the same name that I used. They have to be globally similar. Yeah, okay. globally. The tenant the same. The tenant domain name cannot be the same. That is required. Not only there, but also if you create DB. SQL DB, even, even, uh -huh. even here, your SQL DB name. So here, if you see my DB name, 
okay demo yeah. db 0102 why did i keep like this because most of the names are already taken so mm -hmm. but this particular db has to be unique in and globally unique. that's why we are we have to go this way even s3 naming convention db naming convention then okay. domain name has to be globally you okay. can try with this Right. That need to be something. Maybe your kids know or something. You can try with that. Okay. But okay. you have to again sign. That's a one more thing. Maybe you can now do the same sign up. But you don't uh, Actually, your voice is breaking. It's not clear. I don't. I'm not getting what you're saying. I'm. I'm saying that. Uh, you can maybe use your kid's name. Okay. Okay. As uh -huh. a domain. Can try uh, to use uh, some uh, temporary email on that registry account that will help you to okay. look into are you the same but the thing is that it will gonna cost you the billing and you also need to put your uh, credit card details okay okay so that should be uh, that's the case yeah one more question uh so okay. how do you uh, how do we use power bi uh, in cost management of azure is it there by default no we want power bi yeah okay this is power BI. then obviously this will be included currently you are not okay. using any or be that so my account is not supported because okay. it needs to be a mm -hmm. okay yeah any other questions richard oh uh, no thank you uh rohit and ragu did you practice any questions on the task this task would be huge guys uh, i mean this would be a complete uh, lengthy task it actually has a lot more segments so it might take a couple of days for you to practice but i think this is a really good one you will get a lot more experience on the same so let me if you have any questions guys okay i will be cleaning up my resources now let me know. Uh, I'll be waiting another uh, to ten minutes or 10, uh, ten to twelve minutes until this is clean up. Uh, you can reach me out if you have any doubts or any questions. And by the way, if you have, if you are actually, uh, if you have got any job, uh, you need any kind of help, uh, you can directly message me. Okay, I will try to do my best to help you out. But you at least need to give me eight to twenty-four hours. For any task because i would be having uh, other commitments as well so i have to prioritize accordingly say my number so abil, and so abil, uh, uh, uh the today is the last day for this or uh, so, uh i would be we would be having classes for uh, of days i will try to see if uh, uh i mean i would be explaining a task tomorrow uh and the whole uh, whole uh, Top to bottom approach, and uh, I think a single. Uh, so I would be doing a major task now. Let's any project you can consider this. So pick up a mini project. You have a around uh, four, three to four days max, and uh, we'll be discussing the whole mini project. So this is more hands-on than expected. Okay, of course uh, our agreed amount of classes are already over, but uh, nonetheless. Unless you actually do a complete hands-on, you won't be getting the conference. So I would like to put this uh, this on hands-on, and uh, I will give you a task tomorrow. Explain the whole stuff, and uh, I will be doing a part now. I mean tomorrow. Likewise, I'll be doing another part in the second day, and the final part in the third day. So you will have not only task but solution. Okay.
So how many people are actually going for any certification? Uh, Abdul, I am planning to do the certification. Uh, so we need to do the basic uh, certification. I mean, uh, uh, basic or uh, how the certifications will be? Uh, so what is your goal? What do you want DevOps or how, how it is your career uh, path? Sorry, I'm not getting you. What is your career path? Like why you're doing this certification? Uh, uh, architecture side. Right? Yeah, architecture uh, side. Uh, architecture side, not DevOps. Not DevOps. Okay. So this is called Azure came up with a new set of uh, what do you call this? Let me just come up. Sorry, I am not really used to Mac uh, UI. Yes, maybe. Ah, uh, that. So let me see. Um, you're not a developer. Uh, if you are going architecture, then I believe only. This part is available. Maybe, see, architecture is somebody who actually do application level architecture will do. Even you can do that, okay? So, uh, you don't know, uh, you have to take a decision on going, if we are going with uh, this one, this is, Developing something for Microsoft Azure. Mostly, this is a developer level certification, but it actually requires a lot of architectural components as well. Or you can choose this path where first you go with AZ900, which is common across all the verticals. Now, the second most important thing is AZ104 and then AZ400. So, three, or you can directly go here. Provided if you, you, you prepare really well, then AZ104 and 400, that's it. You become a DevOps uh, solution architect or solutions diagram, but this will include a lot of architecture. Or you can go with this more. Uh, okay, this uh, this is the would be like uh, AZ303 and AZ304. It's basics and 304 is expert. So if you can complete both, you are ensured architect but you can't go 304 without 303 any doubts are good no abdul i'm not i uh, see your voice is not clear so i'm not able to get you uh so this is uh if my understanding is correct so i have to do uh i mean if i'm uh, working on a support side like uh uh, architect or uh, the support side, so I have to do this uh, AZ 303 and Z 304, correct? I don't know, again, you're saying support, which is see, architects are not support team, right? They are designed, yeah, yeah, I understand, but what I am currently working is like uh, I'm working in VMware, uh, uh, VMware uh, virtual machines creation and such things right so yeah uh, in our in our uh, uh, organization currently one project came like a wbd project in such case i believe this is ideal one for you three or three sorry yeah yeah this is the best use this one okay yeah this is the best three or three so architect in the but sense you, everything will come any, under... uh, work hands on not everything Raghu, not everything will come under architect. 
you will be knowing the components you will be given questions on the components and that's it okay the admin level components will be there only in administrator so we did what basically let me just tell you we did this in addition to this you understand okay. because our if without knowing this you can't do this okay so our focus was this the ops the ops is the course right so that's why yeah so we this is already covered so if you go and check uh, if you go <laughs> if you go and look uh, you would be having uh, but you will better actually go with a lot of details so our focus was practical but uh, this one is completely uh, theoretical and have lot more uh, smaller smaller information details that you really need to uh, you know uh, understand i think there are certain books called uh, azure uh, you know three book let me check book. i said study guide i think i can show it Somebody is saving. Yeah, this one. There is a study guide here, actually. Uh, I think this is pull up. Here's some study guides. Ah, it's still in beta. That means, let me just see if it is. Yeah, I think it's in India. It's actually launched. I believe. There is a study guide, actually. This one. Yes, this one. I think make you again. You have to go with okay. This is the latest edition of this application. Okay. Just make sure that this actually matches with the uh, with the syllabus of uh, the Azure exam. Uh, three not three. Just download the syllabus and check with the syllabus that is given. Okay. So this is uh, available in a lot of other uh, as a free PDF. It's also available in several other destinations. You can look into it if you want, or you can directly buy. But this is a very good study. Okay. I think that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Anything else? Abdul. Yeah. Yeah. Abhi. Yeah. So how do we create pipeline in Azure DevOps? Actually, I think you were going to show us uh, using real-time project how to create a pipeline in Azure DevOps portal. Yeah, that is actually uh, in the example project that I just said to you. Right? So okay. we create the whole. Uh, we create a project. First, we create infra. Then uh, we create a manual deployment. And then we do the pipeline, plan. and then uh, I think that's it. only three tasks. The first one includes not only billing and other kind of things. So the first one will take almost one or two days. The second one uh, will last around one. Day. Okay. So okay, very good. In short, uh, we are set. So tomorrow I'm gonna come up with a detail. Uh, it's a really good time, even if you don't practice till now. From tomorrow, if you can put some hours, that really helps you a lot. Okay. That's all from my side. My so I wish you have a great day. Thanks for uh, joining. So by end of this week, we are closing down the course. Uh, pretty much we discuss a lot. Uh, so with this manual project, everything shall complete. Okay. Have a good day. Bye-bye, guys. Yeah. Bye.